Tony is already fuming with every single one of his oloris inside of the palace of Leife because now Queen Naomi is having double minds about returning into the palace of Leife. And this is not what Oni has planned for himself and also the Oloris. The agreement was that Queen Naomi will come back into the palace, then the Oloris will have their freedom to do whatever they were going to do. But now, like, every single thing is already getting finalized. They are now trying to twist their mouth. They are trying to change whatever is happening into their own favor because they have seen that no matter what exactly may be happening, Oni himself cannot do any single thing to stop them. That is why they are taking such decisions against him. And Oni now has come to a huge conclusion that no matter who exactly it may be, no matter what exactly is going to happen in his own life, that Queen Naomi is his top priority. Anything after that is bullshit because now he has already realized that if at all he continues with these oloris, then he will continue to experience the same things he has experienced in the past. So guys, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening depending on when and where you are actually watching us from. This is where I update TV will bring you top G's from the entertainment industry and also from the Oni of Ife Palace. It has been said that the Oloris has trespassed all of the rules that Oni has laid against bringing down Queen Naomi back into the palace of Ilefe. And Oni and Queen Naomi had a deal with the Oloris that if at all he is going to bring in Queen Naomi, if at all they will be ready to experience happiness in the palace, then they should allow him bring Queen Naomi inside of the palace. But now what we are hearing is that they are not even giving Oni and Queen Naomi the chance to return back into the palace of Ilife. Queen Naomi now has decided herself that she is never going to return into the palace of Ilife again, which got Oni so furious about the case. Because now he has to deal with a whole lot of pressure from every single person right in the palace of Ilefe. Because everybody wants a return of Queen Naomi no matter how possible it might be. No matter what exactly may be going on. Every single person wants the return of Queen Naomi. Nobody wants to see Queen Naomi stay outside of the palace of Ilefe and watch all of these oloris take her place. Not even a single person will be willing to let all of that thing pass by. And now the Oloris are trying to play smart against Oni because they have seen somebody that they can manipulate in any way. They have seen someone that they can meet and actually change the situation between him and them. And now they are ready to exploit it no matter what the cases may be. Oni himself has now come to a conclusion. Well, if this is what you guys are ready to do, then he will be ready to scrap his own decision. He will be ready to do anything by his own self since they have already come together and made a decision and they are ready to change that decision based on whatever they are saying because they have seen that Queen Naomi will be willing to take all over the Ilefe kingdom and the Oloris in it they are not planning for all of these things to happen to them because they have seen whatever Queen Naomi is capable of so instead of going down and hearing all of the things that has been happening to them they will rather do what exactly they can to make sure she doesn't return into the palace because when she returns into the palace it is going to be one of the last things that they themselves will ever witness because that will be the time whereas this oloris we have to start going backwards they will have to start going backward things that they have been planning for how many weeks how many days every single thing will start going backwards because what because they were not ready to accept the plans of oni Oni was willing to have, um, give them happiness. You think happiness is a small thing to see in the market? You think happiness is just something you wake up and you have? Oni was willing to give them happiness in the return of bringing in Queen Naomi back into the palace of Ilefe. And after the meeting, Oni even was happy that yes, finally, after all the struggles, after all the trials, after all the tribulations he has been through with these oloris, they are actually making sense inside of the palace. Now they have some sense in them that they can go ahead and make sure that every single person, 
all of the people inside of the palace are very happy with whatever decision he has made. But now they are twisting their mouth. Now they are saying that they don't want the return of Queen Naomi. Queen Naomi too has already changed her mind since the Oloris cannot even stay on one place. The Oloris cannot even stay on one ground and say, this is what exactly we want to do. Since they have decided that now, well, Oh Nito has made his own decision. That if at all Queen Naomi doesn't come into the palace, then every single one of the Oloris that is in the palace must always go into the shrine and always take an oath for him. Because there is no way that these Oloris will be ready to pray for any of him. There is no way these Oloris will be ready to take an oath for him. And since that is the case, since that's what is going to happen, then of course, it is in his own power to ensure that every single person in the palace actually has a business to do there. So guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and don't forget to drop your comment down at the comment.